People often focus on the climate crisis, but there's another big problem happening right now, the biodiversity crisis. This means we're losing lots of different species of animals, plants, and other living things. If too many species disappear, ecosystems, where all these living things work together, could fall apart. Scientists even say that by 2050, about half of all the species we have today might be gone. This would be a huge problem because we depend on these ecosystems to survive. Animals have gone extinct throughout history, but today it's happening much faster, up to 1,000 to 10,000 times faster than it used to, according to scientists. A big reason for this is human activity, like destroying habitats and polluting the environment. Colossal is a company working on something incredible. They focus on bringing back extinct species, while also working to protect animals that are still here. Their goal is to help nature recover and prevent more animals from disappearing forever. Colossal Biosciences is working on an exciting mission to bring back extinct animals and help protect biodiversity. Their goal is to use advanced technology to save endangered species and preserve nature. Some people find the idea of de-extinction a bit unsettling because it means bringing back animals that no longer exist. But Colossal believes it could be a big step in protecting our planet's wildlife for the future. People often compare this project to Jurassic Park, but it's really not the same. The goal here is to use new scientific techniques to help save animals and even bring back some species that went extinct because of humans. These extinctions weren't caused by climate change, but by things people did in the past. This work is about fixing those mistakes and helping nature. The issue is about how humans are affecting nature. Many people are worried about how animals and plants are disappearing, how the planet is being harmed, and how people who have always lived close to nature are being affected. Working together to solve these problems is important because teamwork is what helps make real changes happen. Every species plays an important role in nature, and when one disappears, it can cause problems for the whole ecosystem. It's like taking pieces out of something that needs all its parts to stay strong. Bringing back the species can help fix these problems and keep nature balanced. For example, they are working to bring back species like the woolly mammoth, the thylacine, and the dodo. Predators are especially important in ecosystems. A great example is Yellowstone National Park, where bringing wolves back helped the whole area become healthier. The wolves controlled other animal populations, which allowed plants and trees to grow better. Did you know people are working to bring back an extinct animal called the dire wolf? It sounds like something out of a story, but dire wolves were real. They were important for the environment and even had special meaning to some of the first indigenous tribes in America. A company called Colossal is leading this project. They believe bringing back the dire wolf could help nature and teach us more about history, which is why scientists decided to focus on them. But there was a big problem. There's almost no DNA left from dire wolves. The scientists only found two samples they could use. One was just a single tooth, and the other was a skull that was 72,000 years old. Even with these challenges, they started their research to learn more and hopefully bring these amazing animals back to life one day. Scientists were able to study ancient DNA from dire wolf specimens. A big research project was done by many institutions, looking at lots of samples. Out of those, Colossal used two samples to create full genome sequences for the dire wolf. This is a huge achievement, especially for a species that has been extinct for so long. Colossal is using the gray wolf to help bring back the dire wolf. They've created a super detailed genome for the gray wolf, which acts like a guide to build a reference genome for the dire wolf. By editing genes in different gray wolves, which are already genetically diverse, they can create a group of dire wolves with similar edits. This means the new dire wolves will have some of the same variety that gray wolves already have in their genes. Gray wolves are a protected species, which means scientists have to be very careful when studying them. Usually, collecting samples from wolves can be hard on the animals. Researchers often need to take a small piece of skin or tissue, which can be uncomfortable and stressful for the wolf. But now, there's a new, less invasive way to do this. Scientists have developed a method where they only need a small blood sample. From that, they can isolate special cells in the blood and use them to create clones. This makes the process much easier and safer for the wolves. But it's not easy. It's like solving a really complicated puzzle to figure out which parts of the DNA do what. 
They need to crack this puzzle before they can change a living animal, like turning a gray wolf into something more like a dire wolf. Right now, they're studying gray wolf cells in a lab to understand how this gene works. First, they find the part of the DNA that needs changing. Then, they carefully take out the gray wolf DNA and replace it with DNA from a dire wolf. How amazing is that? Changing DNA in a cell is a tricky process and can be stressful for the cells because it involves adding the tools into them to make these edits. To make the process faster and easier, scientists don't edit just one part at a time. They make lots of changes all at once. This method is called multiplex gene editing. It helps them make big changes more quickly and efficiently. Scientists have found a way to grow cells in a lab that are more like dire wolves than gray wolves. But turning these cells into real wolf pups takes a special process. They use something called cloning, which is when they take the DNA from these cells and put it into another cell to create a living animal. This is how they can turn the lab-grown cells into actual wolf pups. This is the same method scientists use to create Dolly the sheep, the first cloned animal. Here's how it works. Scientists start with an egg from a wolf or a dog. They remove the egg's original DNA and replace it with DNA from a dire wolf. This turns the egg into an embryo that is genetically a dire wolf, not a dog. After creating the embryo, scientists work with a team of veterinarians to place it into a surrogate dog. The surrogate dog is carefully chosen to make sure it can carry and safely give birth to the dire wolf. This whole process might sound like something from a movie, but it's real science. The team is being very careful and thoughtful at every step to make sure everything goes smoothly when the baby animal is born. Keeping the surrogate animal safe is the most important thing. They have a dedicated animal care team focused on protecting the surrogates and making sure they're healthy. At the same time, the science team is working on new technology to grow animals outside of surrogates in the future so they won't need to rely on them anymore. The most exciting moment is when the vet team does an ultrasound and confirms that puppies are on the way. After the puppies are born, a care team steps in to make sure the wolf pups are healthy and happy and that the mother had no problems during delivery. There's also another team that helps the pups learn how to interact properly and develop good social skills. Efforts are underway to find safe places for animals to live in the future. This work involves a big team of people, including private landowners, local governments, indigenous groups, and the general public. Everyone is working together to make sure the animals have safe homes that are good for the environment too. It's important that these plans are accepted by the community and help both the animals and the ecosystem stay healthy. This project focuses on working together and planning ahead before introducing any animals. And it's amazing to see their efforts turn into something that feels almost like science fiction coming to life.